YouTube, welcome to Group Builders. I'm Disorderly Cone, and in this episode, we're gonna be building Master Chief from the Mega Bloks Cool Bros Collection. The Cool Bros Collection has a ton of figures for us to build, including superheroes, villains, and well, video game characters. Master Chief here is the 17th figure in their line. And with 147 pieces, I don't think it's gonna be very difficult for us to build. However, being Halo, and us having a lot of Halo models to build in the future, I think this is a perfect way for us to start. Groovers, let's get down to the workbench and take a look at the box. All right, Groove Builders, welcome to the workbench. We have our Halo Master Chief here in some pretty awesome Cool Bros packaging. And it seems like these guys go out of their way to service the fans of the different franchises that they have. On the back, you get a quick glimpse of some of the other models that they have, including Master Chief here being number 17. Now, a little bit further on, we get to see what the full Master Chief is going to look like when we're done building. Groovers, let's go ahead and open up this package and see what we get inside. Opening up, wow, they got some interesting designs on the uh, left and right here. Looks like the whole box is actually done on the inside too. That's, that's really neat. Our first bag there, another bag, another bag, jeez, uh, another bag. Pretty much all of that, but let's take this away for a second here. Just appreciate the box here for a moment. That is really neat. Friday group builders, let's take a look at the instructions. The first thing we're going to see is the parts diagram. This shows us all the pieces that are required to build Master Chief and how many parts there should be of each individual piece. The next page is going to be the start of our build, which you'll see these three boxes labeled one, two, and three. Each box contains the amount of pieces that we need to build that particular step. As long as we follow these steps one by one, we should be able to build our Master Chief with no problem. Groovers, let's go ahead and get building. So what is Halo and who is Master Chief? Master Chief is one, if not the most iconic FPS character in gaming history. He made his gaming debut in Halo Combat Evolved on the original Microsoft Xbox. Halo is one of the best-selling iconic games on the original console and definitely made a giant impact on the gaming community that comes out to today. I know personally my friends and I had some amazing times with couch co-op and multiplayer battles both in Halo 1 and in Halo 2 that we still talk about today. Let's look a little bit deeper. Halo Combat Evolved is a military science fiction first person shooter video game and the series focuses on the war between humanity and the alliance of aliens known as the Covenant. The Covenant, led by the religious leaders called the Prophets, worship an ancient civilization known as the Forerunners. The Forerunners were actually wiped out by an ancient parasitic flood, which we end up fighting on the main series later on in the game. The focus of the franchise is on Master Chief, known to some as John 117, one of a group of super soldiers known as Spartans and his AI companion Cortana. The term Halo refers to the rings seen in the video game which are large, habitable super weapons created for the Forerunners to destroy the parasitic flood. How did we get Master Chief? In an interview on creating believable video game characters, Bungie's Joseph Satin stated, Master Chief is really what kicked off the creativity. In terms of how people reacted to him, he's a space marine in really cool green armor. The character's perspective changed as the game itself changed from real-time strategy game to a first-person shooter. But the Chief was always intended to be a soldier in the last part of a long and bitter war. For much of the game's development, the character originally had no name, and the developers spent time considering what rank and branch of the armed forces the Chief would belong to. Naval ranks grabbed them as something different from the ones the developers have heard before. Master Chief was intended to be a placeholder while the real name was finalized, but the name stuck. And to be totally honest, I'm pretty glad it did. Now, what kind of review of Master Chief doesn't take the time to talk about the incredible arsenal of armor, weapons, and vehicles we have at our disposal? The Spartans are equipped with the finest armor and weapons the UNSC has. Depending on the combat situation, the equipment Master Chief carries can change. He does, however, have some all-purpose weapons and equipment. Every Spartan wears at least the Milner Mark V armor, and several have the Mark VI model, which has thermal optic and infrared vision modes. Several cameras are installed on the Spartan's helmet because it's standard procedure to record all missions for future review. Weapons are carried through the use of magnetic adhesive strips in specific locations such as the back and legs, allowing the Spartans to carry both human and covenant technology weapons. Most players who started out in Halo got used to the spray and pray assault rifle. You will notice it's also the battle rifle we build here today. 
This rifle is iconic and is used in most cosplays of Master Chief. The only game not to feature the basic assault rifle was Halo 2, where it was replaced with a three-shot burst battle rifle. In the original Halo, you had access to five UNSC weapons, an M60 pistol, which in a lot of cases was overpowered, the MA5B assault rifle, which we talked about earlier, the M90 shotgun, a personal favorite of mine, the M19 SSM rocket launcher, great for doing those jumps, the 99CS2 sniper rifle, everyone loved the sniper rifle in the original Halo from what I remember, and finally the M7057 flamethrower, which is only familiar to people that played the PC and Mac version of the original Halo. While fighting through the campaign, you will find yourself picking up Covenant weapons as well. In all, there are four different types. The Type 25 pistol that charges and shoots a ball of charged plasma, great for taking down shields. The Type 25 plasma battle rifle, often found on the hands of the elite class soldiers. The needler, a favorite for taking down player shields in multiplayer. Players often would use the needler in conjunction with the M60 pistol. They would take down the player's shields and then use the pistol to finish off the player. Very, very effective. And last, we have the Fuel Rod Gun. Again, another PC and Mac only weapon, but very effective and fun to use. Over the course of Halo, Master Chief has got to ride in some pretty awesome vehicles, but we're focusing on the original Halo for this video, so we're gonna be talking about the vehicles in Halo Combat Evolved. In multiplayer and in some missions on the campaign, you can have access to five vehicles. The Warthog, which is an all-terrain vehicle with a machine gun or rocket on the back. A Scorpion tank, which is a heavy UNSC tank. Lots of fun for blowing up your friends. The Ghost, which is a hovering assault vehicle from the Covenant that's extremely fast. The Covenant Wraith tank, which fires a big, devastating ball of plasma and destroys everything it hits. And finally, the Banshee, which is a flying Covenant fire that shoots balls of plasma and giant bombs. Master Chief is often a little gamer's first big hero, and I know for a fact he was definitely one of mine. All right, Groove Builders, we constructed Halo's Master Chief. And not too bad, if I might say. A little bit bigger as well than I originally thought. Let's go right into construction difficulty. Off the bat, these plastic brick figures aren't incredibly hard to build with only 147 pieces. However, if we are comparing them to a Lego brick, it needs to be mentioned that these cool bow bricks can be a little bit difficult to put together sometimes. I'm not saying all the time, but you will find yourself in certain situations having to press a little bit harder than you would normally have to on a Lego brick. Just make sure to have one of those Lego prying tools around and you should be fine. Let's move on to build time. I found that the Cool Bros collection of brick figurines to be quick and easy to build, with Master Chief here only taking about 15 minutes to construct. I know that's not a whole lot of time, but if you have a couple of these figures around, you can definitely have a few hours of fun, especially with little ones around. Lastly, let's move on to my thoughts. Master Chief is an iconic gaming character whose likeness has been characterized in Mega Bloks, Metal Earth, and countless paper models. I understand that the Cool Bros line is supposed to be a plastic brick styling of 8-bit figures, but I can't help but feel that the Master Chief is lacking a lot of minimalist detail. I'm not saying that the model is bad looking, I just kind of wish there was a little bit more detail in and around the mask to really make that pop. I kind of feel like it's almost underplayed for a Master Chief figure. If you're a fan of Halo, or maybe have somebody in your family who is, you will do no wrong by going out and picking up this figure. I would just recommend maybe picking up more than one so you have an interesting collection on your hands. All right, Groove Builders, that brings us to the end. I had a great time building the Cool Bros Master Chief with you, and if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well, as we got all kinds of really cool content coming out in the future. Until next time, Groove Builders, keep building.